Today's episode is brought to you by IWV Legal. If you've been involved in an auto accident or have a pending criminal matter, attorney Abdul O'Day can help you get through it all. Call 760-321-3632. That's 760-321-3632. Call IWV Legal today for your free legal consultation. That's 760-321-3632. Yeah, it sounds good in your head. One thing you never do is send out emails. Okay, don't put, <laughs> don't leave a paper trail. That's all I'm going to say with that. What's up, everybody? Welcome into another episode of Say It All Out Sports. I'm your host, Patrick Graham. I got Bob with me today, as usual. What up? Pete's out again. No biggie. He keeps sending in winners, though, so we can't yeah. can't knock it. So as long as he's winning, he can. Has it lost in two weeks? No, he's seven one and one in three weeks. He went two and one last week, three and another week before. Oh, was, I thought the three and zero last week. No, two and one last week. Two and one last week, three and another week before. Oh, and then two zero oh and one. So as long as he keeps winning, I can't void his contract. Yeah. Well, wild weekend of games. Don't man. lose Just, two in a row though. Yeah, <laughs> then you're out. <laughs> wild weekend of games, all sports. We got baseball playoffs going on. That includes off the on the field and off the field. Like I kind of mentioned, John Gruden's emails from a decade ago. But we'll leave that topic for the experts. I ain't getting into that. We got previews, locks, father son pickums, but first last weekend was nuts. We gotta talk about some of the games. Packers. Let's go right into this Packers game. Packers outlast the Bengals in overtime. The field goal kickers in this game, though. Gotta be deserve, they gotta be at that employment office this morning. They deserve to lead the show. They're four for nine combined on field goals, including five straight missed game winners. Crosby. Potentially game winners. Crosby is four for seven. Right. The best part of the whole game, though, is when McPherson thought he made it. And it was a mess. And it hit the flag on the left <laughs> yeah. second. He's jumping into the – everybody thought he made it, not just The him. Colder was sub- celebrating? I mean, I – I saw the, I saw the looked, referee say no good. Well, I mean, when you watched it, because it they was have that back view, it looked right down the middle. I'm like, ah, oh, damn, he made it. And then it hooked so bad. It was hooking. I thought he was going to make it, but I, I knew too. he missed it. And then he's leaping in his guy's arms. But I don't know. I think well, – how, how does this affect the Bengals moving forward? I know it was the Packers – they kind of gave it away, but did, will, they, did they give it away? Did the Packers give who? What happened? I don't think anybody really gave the game away. <laughs> Nobody wanted to win it. It's weird. Nobody wanted to win. I don't know. I, the Bengals are a real deal, though. It's hard to say they're not. Yeah, I think it's a massive loss for them. Like, if you look at both team situations, if the Packers lose, it doesn't hurt them too much. No, because the division they're in. I mean, the Bears are three and two, but let's not kid ourselves. The Bears aren't good. No. I don't think. Think, but the Bengals, you look at the Bengals division, you got four and one Baltimore, which just got a gift last night from the or Monday night from the Colts. That was a disaster. But you got four and one Baltimore, three and two Cleveland, which we'll get to and talk about that Chargers game. And then Pittsburgh's two and three, although people are down on Pittsburgh. But if the bank, big difference between four and one in that division and three and two, because that's one of the tougher divisions of football. Yeah. As far as like physicality, all that stuff going forward. So. It's still early, but they do get the Jets and Lions in two of their next four games. Yeah. So, but four and one's huge. I think it's it sucks for Cincinnati. But what happened? With Joe Burrow has a throat contusion. He got, he got poked hit. in the throat. He got, I guess he got hit. It wasn't on the play where he got hurt or where they thought he got hurt. It was on a different play, I guess. Yeah, someone just throat punched him. Yeah, I don't know. He had to go to the hospital. I don't think he could, they said he couldn't talk. Yeah, he, they, I did read today. He should be good to go this weekend. Brandon Allen is the backup, so hopefully that's not the case because we no Joe Burrow's we the just guy. Don't. We need Joe Burrow in the lineup just as a fan. Yeah, tough game though. Packers are uh, four and one after their week one debacle. I'm still confident they can get to the Super Bowl. I told everybody relax. Everybody, remember how R E L A X. Remember after week one, everybody's like Aaron Rodgers wants out. Aaron Rodgers sucks. No, now they've won four straight. Chill out. All right, next game. We'll we'll talk about both of our teams. First, we're going to get to the Eagles. In a must-win spot. We get the job they for, done. No, they forced Sam Darnold into the vintage Sam Darnold from the Jets. He's turn, I said this a week ago. He's going to turn. I said this against Dallas. You start turning it over? He's going to start turning it over. CMC's out of lineup. They have to get. He's supposed to be back next week. He has to be back. Otherwise, Sam Darnold reverts to old Sam Darnold. He's going to start turning it over. Starts turning it over. Three interceptions on this game. Hubbard. He's served fine for his backup, but it's still not the same. You're not like he getting, had, you're not, he, the, he doesn't get the usage either. Well, the usage rate, did. Yeah, but I'm Chubb, saying yeah. so far, it's not the usage rate you're going to get with CMC. But they're just not scared of him. He's not uh-huh. going to make the huge play. Chubbard had 24 for 101 on the ground, and he had 5 for 33 through there, but it's just not the same. 
Uh, Philly struggled. It's the slow starts, man. We got to get rid of the slow starts. It's like the the Raiders, but the defense stepped up huge. Still, but they struggled all day. Jalen Hurts didn't look great. Not at all. Made some plays at the end. You at the all end, right. that's when they came through. So it doesn't get any easier, though. No, it's going to get tougher going get, forward. We got a <laughs> no, short got week. We got two. You know, yeah. on a short week. We went from Sunday. We played Thursday instead of a s- next Sunday. Yeah, we'll talk about that game in a bit. How that's are you? Gonna, how are you feeling about Philly through through five weeks? I'm, are they good enough to make a playoff push? I think like, they're. I think who they're, are they? We, like, they're, you called me and said, "I don't know if we're good or bad." I can't you can't tell. tell. I can't tell if we're good to a football team or a bad football team yet. It seems like they're close to being really good, but we're still not playing well. It's like once, yeah. It seems like one side of the ball plays well and the other side stinks. Yeah, it's like get if, together. If, if so both teams, either. if the offense and defense both play well in one game, I win or lose. Yeah, like it's like against San Francisco, the offense played horrendous. Defense right. played lights out. Yep. Against the Chiefs, the defense played horrendous. The offense played pretty well. They they had a couple mistakes, which cost them the game, kind of. But we'll see. I still like I still like Jalen Hurts. He's good. I said before the season he was going to be a top five fantasy quarterback. He's I think seventh right, he's right now. now. He's I, thought, I thought he was eighth. What's but. crazy is he's ahead of Kyler Murray somehow in fantasy. Murray's eight. Uh, Hurts is seven. So you can Touchdowns. get out here with that with that uh, with that noise. Cardinals squeak out a win against San Francisco. You know, what was your, so before I get into my take on this game. Go, you can tell me what you saw from Mr. Uh, Baby Kaepernick. Um, the Cardinals struggled against the Niners' D. They couldn't get anything going. It was bad. Yeah, I mean, they always, it's a divisional game, so I always play them tough. I mean, it was 10-0 at half. but 10-3. 10-0. 10-0 at half, yeah. And there was like, it seemed like they moved the ball, but they didn't score ever. The Cardinals? Yeah. No, every time I was like, dude, they're Murray gets like they're in they're at the range. Th- yeah. They're at the thirty on no, the San Francisco thirty five in the drive stalls. Yeah. It was they, wild. they play them tough every time. But listen, the play calling on the 49ers side, highly questionable. They got down they ran the ball down their throats all the way down the field, got to the one and threw it. And decided to get sneaky, try to play action, pass and missed it. Then they did a rollout and Trey Lance got I mean the guy made a great play, hit stick them at the one inch line. Oh yeah, that was a big one. But why not just run it up the middle like you've been doing the whole drive? Just keep it was a it nine off. and a half minute drive, like th- I think it was thirteen plays, nine and a half minute drives. Just keep running it. Zero points. Didn't get a point. Didn't get a point. This I was what, like Philly, that, Philly from, does that too though. As soon as that happened, I was like I was texting my brother because he's a Cardinals fan. I'm like, game's over. <laughs> game's over. This is it. But luckily it wasn't. They survived. Trey Lance reminds me of Colin Kaepernick. He's not good. I'll tell you right it's now. Fine. That's fine. He's not ready. I've said this preseason. I don't, I don't, think, I, I don't think he can throw as well as Kaepernick could. Coming out the gate, no, but... He throws he the ball remi- 100 he me, miles an hour. He reminds me of the end of Colin Kaepernick right now. Like, remember when he got cut? Yeah. He reminds me of him right now. I, and I'm not... I'm still going to back Lance. Mm-mm. I'm still going to want him to improve. He's just not ready. It's Jimmy's team. That has to be Jimmy's team. Otherwise, there's no chance. Here's the thing. People are already saying you can't go back to Jimmy now. You have I'm like, to. you guys are crazy. You have to. Here's what they need to do. Niners have a bye week. They're two and three. You, what, you can't go back. Jimmy didn't get benched. He got hurt. You You told me he got benched. I just he, he didn't <laughs> practice. Mad. He didn't practice that week, so they didn't play him. No, but you text me, you're like, he, he's not hurt. They're faking it so they can start Lance <laughs> without repercussions. I'm like, whatever. Yeah, go here's back. what here's what needs to happen. The Niners have a bye week this week. Perfect time. I don't like it this early. Usually, I like it later. This in the is season. where Jimmy gets healthy and Huge. gets the team back. Okay, Jimmy gets it. T- hopefully, this is what needs to happen. They get the Colts and Bears coming out of the bye week. Those are those, two wins. Those are two should wins. After watching the Colts, yeah, we should get those two games. If we don't, we're in trouble. But whatever. Then we get back to back home games in weeks nine and ten against the Cardinals again, which we just saw how close the game was. Right. And the Rams in week ten. That's a tough one. After week ten, that's when you can decide. If we go two and two, if we go one and three in those four games, or with Jimmy, yeah, or with Jimmy, then maybe you can start being like, all right. I mean, the Rams and the C- or Rams and the Cardinals are going to be up there. Probably won't make the playoffs if we drop. You know, one, if we go one and three of those games, who knows? But I'm okay with going to Lance if we struggle in those four games. Yeah, but right now you got to go to Jimmy and let him try to beat. He's the own- opportunity to win games and get to the playoffs right now. If you start Lance through that, you're kind of giving up. Yeah, we're looking at it right now. We're 0-2 with Trey Lance against two divisional opponents. Yes, that's what I'm Seattle saying. If you decide to Seattle stick with Trey Lance, you're basically giving up on a playoffs. Yeah, it's nuts to me. You're looking at, now you're just looking to get him playing time and to develop him. Yeah. So they better. I hope that's the case. I mean, I hope Jim – I like I liked Trey Lance's game. It reminds me of Kaepernick. It's too early to give up. We went to, to a up. Super Bowl with Kaepernick. We had success with Kaepernick. But he's not Kaepernick. But we also <laughs> had success with Garoppolo. 
He went to the Super Bowl. Went to the Super Bowl. So just get back to Garoppolo, please. It's frustrating. But it's the too Cardinals, early. The Niners are a good football team. It's too early to give up on the season. Cardinals, though. Cardinals look good. God, dude, they're real good. Where yeah. do you? They're, they're, I did not think their defense was going to be any good. But they've showed out. They, yeah, they showed up. I do. I did. You know, I picked Cliff Kingsbury to win coach of the year. He's, I had the Card- his, he's I had, well on the way. I had the Cardinals going 11 and, six and win, 11 and 6 winning this division. I didn't think it would be this impressive this early, though. I thought they'd be like, you know, four and one, three and two, four and one right now, and they would click later. But they're getting the job done. All right. Craziest game of the weekend. I mean, if you want to say that, Cincinnati Green Bay, we talked about, was pretty crazy. But the Browns and Chargers put up 89 points. Dude, I don't so, know what was every time I blinked, they were already in the end. Like it was nuts. It was wild. So did you know what the Browns your, losing first, this football game? First team in history. To have like four hundred five hundred yards. Five hundred plus no yards and no turnovers. And lose. <laughs> and lose. What was and your they, takeaways from this game for both teams? They're like, both Super Bowl contenders. The, yeah, there's no way they're not. Those two teams, I mean, five hundred and something yards, no turnovers, and you still lose? That's tough. The fact that Chargers were able to get the job done against a team that's done, that's never lost with those numbers, yeah, they're the real deal, and I think the Browns are too. Yeah, look, I look at it. If you look at it just on paper, you're immediately going to say their defense is obviously a problem. Which in this day and age, like who has really good defenses? Like four teams ever? Not you know, really I, a ton. Nah, like no, Tampa's defense leaky on the backside right now. They can't oh, yeah. run against Tampa, but you can throw against them. Kansas City's leaky. Buffalo's Kansas defense. City's a full Buffalo. blown blown dam. There's yeah. you can't get a stop. You can anybody can score in KC. So Buffalo's defense is a different story. That's why they they're probably the favorites right now. I would assume right but, power ranking wise, Buffalo's got to be one on. But the if they have an off day, like the Brown, like you said, the Browns and Chargers are both Super Bowl contenders. contenders. I'm yeah. not I'm not wavering from my pick. I still got the Browns. I you know, they're three and two, and they've played a couple bad games. So yeah, the, well the Chiefs, the Chiefs and the Chargers are the two teams that yeah. lost to. So I mean, they're not losing the the teams that are. They're losing to teams that are like also competitors. They're not losing right. the Jets like the Titans are. Right. Um, Chargers though, Justin Herbert's a real deal. Mike Williams is the real can't guard Mike. Sorry, been, Mike. Sorry, Mike Thomas. Mike Williams has <laughs> taken that nickname from you and just <laughs> he's running it. down the field with it. Yeah, he's he's taking it. You're out. Eckler's elite. Brand, I love Brandon Staley from the Chargers. The coach. He's a genius dude. So I didn't really so, buy into. Did you? I went back and watched some of his like when his like his interviews when he hired him. Right. The way he talks, dude, he's a genius, dude. What? <laughs> he's what qual- smart. What? Okay. Like, like it's what, wild. The, the things qualify, he comes up. The qualifications for you have, genius. I don't know. You just Probably. like his uh, mind. Like you his, like his, mind. his mindset is he. It's like different. You're he, and you're him. listening to him. You're like, yeah, that does make sense. I love his aggressiveness. He's so like his but his theory on sacks. Huh? He has a theory on sacks, and he's like, sacks are pointless. He's like, you can lead the league in sacks, and it doesn't mean anything. He's yeah. like, the quarterback hits and hurries are what count. That's what wins you football games. Yeah, That's consistent wild. pressure, right? Not just a one off. Not the, not you get three hurries and nine sacks. He's like that doesn't matter. I'd rather have fifteen sack, fifteen hurries and no sacks. That's yeah, what he. That's yeah. what he's talking about. It makes sense. I love his aggressiveness, but I know I do know that could I. So there's it's going to be a time where he messes up, and the Chargers fans are going to want his head. And it's he like, messed up this you, week. It made zero sense. I called you. Oh yeah, at the end of the game. Why well, not? No, th- yeah, just take take a knee. three knees, kick the ball with like I eight don't seconds think that's left. That's not on him. He's a head coach. No, Eckler got way too close to the damn line. I don't care. Why run a play anyway? Why was there a play called? I'm talking about like when it's fourth and three early in the game and they're on their own. Okay. Those type of plays. That game, I could see. I that could situation see, I makes see no saying. sense. You should take a knee. Kick it with eight seconds left. Take the lead and yeah, kick, if you didn't, kick the ball away. If you guys didn't watch the game, it was a one-point game with a minute and a half left. Chargers had no timeouts. They were running. He was not going to score. He was trying to run the clock out. Yeah, the Browns then smart move by Stefanski, the Browns coach. I love they they let him go and they <laughs> dragged four him of them picked him up and carried him into the end zone, which it's the only way they, the only way they could have they could have won the game. The Browns, yeah, the so, only opportunity they had. But Brandon Staley, that will come back to bite him in one game, and it's gonna be interesting to see how the fans react. I think he's really good. Oh, 100 percent. I mean, yeah. look how fast the Raiders. The, <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah, Raiders fans. I mean, they say, oh, we talk trash all year. You know, I yeah. keep seeing this everywhere. Every group I'm in, we stand loyal. Yeah, and well, I get stand it. That's loyal, fine. Stand loyal in the and watch the playoffs. That's fine, <laughs> but just because like I'm a Niners fan through and through, but I, I'm not on there every week. Being like, oh, I'm, I'll rip my team. Yeah. I don't care. I'm not gonna be like I'm not blind to it. Yeah. Those are whatever. Browns, Chubb Hunt, most best. There's the best back. running back duo. The best running back duo in the league. Yeah, probably the second Baker. best rushing team in the league. Yes, yeah, behind Titans. 
the best Derek rushing. Henry. Uh, yeah, Derrick Henry. Uh, yeah, Derrick Henry's the best running back. <laughs> oh, he's a rushing best, team. He's the best rushing team. Yeah, well, yeah, he has no backup, so he has like seven hundred yards already. He's gonna <laughs> rush like twenty five hundred. But Baker and Odell have to figure out what's the deal. Baker or Odell, Baker hit him right in the hands. Fourth and three, first down, drops it. Just boop. and that's a that play doesn't even go for three. That play goes for twenty five. Yeah, that's that's and that's a huge moment because they were in that they could have took three. They decided to go for it. Baker, that's the first down. It's probably gonna turn into seven if they pick that up. They got to figure out some. I've always, I don't want to say they're better without Odell because he. They does. were though. They were better on offense. Technically, they were. Their I don't points understand. per game went up. Yards per game went up. They keep they keep saying, "Oh, he's elite. He's elite." But they're they perform better. There's that's fine. They can call him the elite, but elite quarter, wide receiver score touchdowns. Like if Odell go put, hasn't gotten the end zone on over a calendar month or if, year. Yeah, if you go put him on like Dallas, he's going to rack up yards. It's just not the offense for him. That's what I understand. No, it's a run heavy. Yeah, but even when he gets open, he drops it or Baker misses him. He needs yeah. a precise quarter, like yeah. taking shots down the field. Kind of accurate. Baker's not really ac- I don't know. It's uh, just a weird thing. Both defenses have to be better. He needs an Baker- offense like Kingsbury and McVay. Oh, do you, could you imagine him on the Cardinals? It would be insane. That's the type of offense Odell needs to be in. That's why the Giants, when they were spreading it out with Sterling Sharp and Shepard. Yeah. Shepard and Slate. Or he didn't and have Victor Slate, Cruz like, when he first oh, got Victor there, Cruz, too. Yeah. Like they. We're slinging the ball all over the place. Yeah, they should try to trade him for some. Right some, now, he has some value. I would trade him to. I don't think you're going to get a lot for him, though. Or you can get, get like a fourth uh, rounder. You wouldn't get much. You get like a fourth rounder for him. But yeah, he just needs a fret. Yeah, I don't know. I'd just rather all have right. him. That's it for last week. And it was a crazy weekend. Uh, playoff eliminator time. Let's get to that real quick. So far, we've eliminated the Jaguars, Jets, Lions, and Falcons. I think safe to say we're pretty safe on those ones. Yes. We got. We got. Uh, we're going to eliminate two teams this week. The nominees. And let me preface this by saying, me and Pete already voted. There's four teams. All four teams got one vote from each of us. Pete took the Giants and Texans. I had Dolphins, Colts. So you got a choice. So you're the deciding vote. So you, you already know my pick. I know the Dolphins are gone. Yeah. <laughs> You've been waiting for months to do it. So Dolphins, Texans, Colts, and Giants, they're all one and four. So, I mean, we're, I think we're safe on most yeah. of them, but we'll see. So, so Dolphins? Dolphins are out. Texans are out. Dolphins said two more AFC teams. All right, so Dolphins. And Texans. The Giants. The Giants are off next week. Let's be real. Yeah, Giants I get mean, the, they I get mean, the Rams they, next week. Daniel, They're out. Daniel Jones is out. <laughs> Saquon Barkley has a baseball on his ankle. It's not good. Yeah, and they play the Rams. And so they they're the going to be one and five, and they're gone next week. So all right, I'll so, let them so, survive for the week. So so far we have Jags, Jets, Lions, Falcons, Dolphins, and Texans. Are out. I think the only team with two wins is the Falcons, right? They yeah, just beat the, the Jets in London. beat the Jets, and then they won against the Giants. Yeah. They beat two other teams that were eliminating. <laughs> yeah, so, okay. So, I think we're safe. But it's going to be interesting when we're in, like, week 9, 10, when we're eliminating or teams. Or you have to eliminate, like, 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 a, like, a, Vikings, like, like a, a Vikings team. Like a 500 team <laughs> that you're like, all right, you just are. Yeah. Vikings the, are out. The football team. Yeah. Something like that. That's so dumb, the football team. I'm still so annoyed by that. They're not, are they going to change it? They're the Guardians next year? No, that's the Cleveland Indians. Yeah, I thought. Oh, that's right. Baseball. That's I, right. They're, they're voting on a team or a, a team name. I don't know. All right. It'll game. be so lame, too. They'll want to go back to the football team. <laughs> I like the – I mean, <laughs> don't keep changing it. That's annoying. All right. Let's get into the uh, – let's do let's do the top five teams in each conference through five weeks real quick. Okay. So I'll go first. I'll do the AFC, and then All you right. can kind of give me your list. So I'm going Bills at one. Yeah, obviously. That has to be a, almost... That's a lock. The, well, kind of. The char- the, People the, I, could argue the Chargers, but I still don't... I still have the Bills. So I have Bills, Chargers. Yeah, that's obviously two. one, too. Yeah. Okay. And then three... This is where it gets This is where it gets. So tough. you agree Bills, Bills, Chargers, one, two? That's why I got it, yeah. Okay. A three for me is I got, I got a little t- different mix at three. Three, I got the Ravens. Okay, I have them at four. Who do you have at three? Browns. Okay, so we're close. So I have Bills, Chargers, Browns... Or Bills, Chargers, Ravens, Browns. You have Bills, Chargers, Browns, Ravens. Who's yeah. the fifth team? This is where we're going to differ for sure. My fifth, I think, Cincinnati. You trust them? I, I'm, I got. It was tough for me. I was either going to. I was going to go Titans or Bengals, and I went Bengals. I mean, they are playing. The thing, the reason well. I didn't go Titans because they lost to the Jets. You can't have a loss like that. I'm going Chiefs. I still. I, I know Man. their defense is in shambles. Jackson Mahomes was playing quarterback last week. I don't Man. know what that was. You know what it is. Did you see Jackson? They, they, he was throwing it into the. I was like, some of the misses. Guy. Some of the misses real bad. 
but crazy I think it, bad. Like Jackson Mahomes was playing quarterback. Yeah. I kept saying it. He's a curse. The f- interceptions are. He's going to throw a bunch, dude. He's already thrown six through five games. That's more than he threw all last year. Does he have six? Yeah. Oh no, he's got six in five games. That's more than he had all last season. And remember last season he had twenty five dropped interceptions. Yeah, the number's going to skyrocket. This so I'm, I'm, I bet his over under interceptions ends around sixteen and a half. Yeah, they got to figure out what to do. So a lot of people are blaming their defense, rightfully so. They've, they've, I don't they, think the Chiefs make the playoffs, but they haven't been good. And no, I was talking to uh, Dan about it. So I, I'm on the train. A that lot they of people are, are are blaming their defense, but if you watch the game, their offense isn't doing like what they're normally. Out of the five, out of doing. the five games they played, four four games the offense didn't look like last year. Well, I mean, yeah, not even not even close. No. But against the Eagles, they just drove down the field every time, scored against us. But yeah, they're they're bracketing Tyreeks are not giving up the huge play. Kelsey, you know, it's kind of like it's almost getting stale in a way. Yeah, and they're running now. Clyde Edwards hilarious out. Oh, yeah, I don't know. Something's I'm wrong telling with you, the, their defense is really bad. And you can't get to the playoffs like that. You can't give up 40 a week. Not with the way the offense Not play. every week. Not like every, they can yeah. have breakdown weeks, but their offense isn't. I feel like the offense isn't really doing well either, especially with the turnovers. Like The defense in the second half yesterday played pretty well. They got ba- The Bills did get bailed out by that Josh Allen roughing the passer. When yeah. they started getting the momentum, I'm like, that is not a penalty. Huh. It's, so, it's so rough. All right, so we pretty much got – so Bills, Chargers, Ravens, Browns, top four for sure, and then you got the Bengals. The Bengals at Chiefs. five right now. All right, NFC, I'm going to go. I got Cardinals. Obviously, yeah. You definitely ain't going to like two Cowboys. Oh, man. Are they in your top five? Yeah. Okay. So I got Cardinals, Cowboys, Rams at three, Packers at four, Bucks at five. Okay, I have Cardinals, yeah. Tampa, Green Bay, Dallas, Rams. So we have the same top five, just a mix. I yeah. get why you have Bucks up there. like, But they have kind of, their second their – sec- I guess they'll get healthy. The secondary will get healthy eventually. I just think right now Dallas is playing so they're playing lights out. Obviously, the Bucks beat the Cowboys week one. The biggest, the biggest thing for the Cowboys right now, the reason they're actually, they think they're Turnovers. playing so well. The defense is the creating defense opportunities. The defense is giving them plays. And if you, the last two weeks, they've the Cowboys have pounded the football on the ground. And Zeke looks like Because two, they're giving him 25 carries yeah. a game now. He gets going, starts they're doing his thing. They're pounding the football. Yeah. They're running play action. They're not letting Dak throw it 55 times a game anymore. Yeah, but Dak still is looking yeah, he's great. He's he dropping 30 times. Yeah, he threw a 50-yard <laughs> bomb to C.D. Lamb. Now he's got the speed weapons, Zeke. But it's, Pollard, instead Zeke. of 70-30 pass rush, it's now like 60-40, yeah. 55-55. Well, week one came out. After week one, we're like, why aren't you running the football? Obviously, Tampa's a different animal. I get you're not going to run it on Tampa, but you have you can't and abandon they, and it. And since then, they did. Yeah, they have to do You something. can't run it three total times. You know what I mean? Yeah. So they've looked good. So we have the same top five in both, except for the Chiefs Bengals swap. So that's, that makes well, sense. Well, I mean, the NFC is the outside five teams. It's bad. I mean, the, there's not a ton. Like the seventh best record in the NFC is the Bears. We're not putting them anywhere. <laughs> Bears, Panthers are three and two. Saints, football teams two and three. Yeah, I would take the Niners over any of those teams. I would take not Philly even. over a lot of those <laughs> Me and teams. You both say our teams. Yeah. I mean, we would take Philly and the Niners. They're definitely the sixth and seventh best teams <laughs> yeah. right now. You know what I mean? All right, cool. Let's get it. All right, well, that's that's it for. I mean, what is there any other games? Oh, let's get to week five games. We haven't even done that yet. All right, week five games. Big one for you, Bucks Eagles. That's week six. Week six game. Week six game. Sorry, yeah. Bucks Eagles Thursday night. Thursday, Thursday night. night. At least I'm kind oh, of man, excited for this game. I'm exci- I'm excited. I know you and are, I'm obviously. scared. I'm a little scared, man. A short week having to play Tampa. It's gonna be rough. We gotta. We better bring our A game. Can't make no mistakes. Their defense. Uh, hopefully, their if their defense plays like last week, it's gonna be tough. Yeah, Tom Brady's out here throwing four hundred yards. Even if touchdowns. our defense plays like last week, we're not making. We're not forcing Tom into three interceptions. It's not gonna happen. He just doesn't do that. Do you have a? Is there a way you win this game? Or you just we have know? to. We have to pound. Are the you ball. just hoping to only way you you to win this pound football the game? ball? You have Miles Sanders and Gainwell like. Miles has been all right. He leads the league on first down. No, they can. You, you're not going to just We're control not, the clock. They're more chunk the play guys. We that's got. The we got to. Uh, the we the way we play in this football game is to keep third and manageables and convert on third down. Yeah, and they're not that's, good at that. That's yeah, <laughs> more, they haven't been good at that. No, so we that's the only way to win the football game and not commit stupid penalties, which they're yeah. also not good at. No, I feel like every time I watch them, they commit stupid penalties. Well, a lot of them are the RPO plays where we're getting guy a legal man downfield, right? And it's because it's like the. RPO play where he needs to be getting the football and he's holding on to it, trying to find somebody to throw it to, and the O linemen are getting downfield blocking. Yeah, I don't. Play. I mean, I don't see it. this may be the, Ve- the the Vegas trap game though, because I, I I'm looking at it like I don't like, know a way that 
the Eagles win the game. It's I can't see be, a thing. It's, it's got to be b- huge plays. And it's on a Quez, short week, man. Plays Watkins and like Devontae Smith just getting loose for like an 80-yard touchdown early. Yeah, hopefully, uh, if we can come out pe- fast, we come out hot, and we get Tampa not to come out struggling, <laughs> it'd be I close. Can, yeah, I'm, I'm going to be rooting for... I want the I don't Eagles know what to I want win. To win. I, I kind of want Philly to win because I want them to be in the playoffs. Yeah, Bucks will be fine either way. Yeah, it's gonna be a tough. I week, know though. you're rooting for the Eagles. You don't have to say that. Oh yeah, I don't. We're gonna win. I'm excited for that game though. <laughs> it's gonna be wild. However, if the what's yeah, if the Dodgers Dodgers game five might be that night. Oh, might be a. So, we might have two TVs on in here. We might need a couple TVs. All right, so Bucks Eagles Thursday night should be fun. I think the Bucks probably win by double digits, but I'm hoping it's a nice game. All right. There's not a ton of good games this week, I feel like. Chargers-Ravens, that's a good game. Cardinals-Browns? That's the next one. Car- Chargers-Ravens, <laughs> though. I mean, there's, there's got, I got three on the list, there, but there's like Colts play the Texans, I think, this week. Chiefs play the football team. You got the Dolphins and the Jaguars. Monday night's a good you game. Yeah, Chiefs play the football team. Chiefs might score 80. They could. Tyler Heineke, might, this might be the game where people put him out there like top five right now. Oh, he was – oh, no, he was – he threw two picks last week. Yeah. Terrible. Lost to the Saints. I thought that uh, the game was wild. But anyway, Chargers Ravens. What do you like what do you expect out of this game? I I think the Chargers probably can get out of here. They're plus three. The Ravens are have been starting slow. They keep coming. Lamar Jackson, though. Like, Dude, that was the best passing game I've ever, he's ever had. Fourth, fourth. Well, let's 40 be honest, the Colts blew three, the game. four touchdowns. I don't know. He couldn't he could he was slinging it all over the place. Did you see um Someone tweet oh, who tweeted that about Blankenship. Uh-uh. It was oh, Rodrigo. Game. Yeah, the missed game winner. He missed uh, the tight game tie. Yeah, the game someone winner. Someone tweet one of the play one of, some player. I can't remember exact. I think it was Darius Slay. Tweeted about Blankenship. He tweeted how you miss all these kicks when you got so many glasses on. When your glasses are <laughs> oh that thick. Oh my god, bro! I was dying today when I heard that. <laughs> it's he's bad. got full on goggles. He's probably got. Oh, they're know, that they're they're thick, dude. Yeah, Darius. I think it was. I want to say it was Darius Slay. If it's yeah. not, don't sue me, whoever it is, or Darius Slay. Don't come after me. But I think it was Darius Slay. He said, <laughs> "Are you missing? All are these you kicks? missing all these kicks with such thick glasses on, goggles on?" I was like, <laughs> "Dead." Chargers oh, Ravens. Man. Yeah, it's, that Chargers Ravens. They could score like eighty again. Because the Ravens secondary is not their defense isn't playing well. They just gave up twenty five points to Colts. John, the first touchdown from John Terry just caught it. He looked, like he, running 76 slow, yards. he looked like he was running in slow motion. Nobody could catch him, but he just 80 yard touchdown screen pass. Yeah. I don't know. It should be a good game. Uh, Cardinals, Browns, though. We'll get to this game in the locks. Oh, you got there. And you I got have the lock in this oh, one. Oh, wow. That's a tough pick. And then uh, that game should be wild, though. I think the Browns defense is going to be a little mad. What if, about. The Browns, what if the Browns score like 90 points over two weeks and go 0 and 2? That, that, that's very possible. <laughs> that's what I'm looking at here. And then Bills, Titans, Monday night. It's going to be a. I know Bills just wrecked the Chiefs. I think the this, Titans, well, if you big game for the Titans. This game, game's gonna be quick. There's gonna be a that, lot of run plays because before the before the season, everybody was on. The, loved it. I mean, our whole fantasy league was loving the Titans because we had the most tickets on the Titans. Yeah. If, it, if if nobody knew that, yeah. I don't know if the fantasy community knew that, huh. but that's a huge game for Tennessee. It's a they, big win. You get if you win this, could, you're right back in. Yeah, you're one game back in the tiebreaker. Yeah. Oh no, the Bills have lost one. Yeah, they're tied. They'd be the tied top. the record. So a huge game Monday night. Derrick Henry, I don't think he's just going to run wild against Buffalo. I don't know how not. He so runs Tannehill, wild against everybody. No, but that defense is on another level. <laughs> yeah. another level. Tannehill has to come out. and This is the Tannehill game. He's got For all his, you Tannehill lovers. Is Julio and AJ back? Um, AJ played last week. I think Julio should be back. For, but I'm just saying, for all you Tannehill lovers out here, if Tannehill shits the bed, I'm coming after you next yeah. week. Because you guys love him. Just like I came after all the Ty- Taylor Heineke car care guys. Crowning this guy. Can't beat Jameis Winston. It's after, after this weekend, he torches the Chiefs defense for 70. No. You, no. <laughs> he throws eight Whatever. touchdowns. They're going to be coming after you. The ta- the You're going right. to get so many car care gift cards in the mail. <laughs> <laughs> it's frustrating. All right, let's get to those aforementioned locks of the week. So this season, we're 21-17-1 as a group. That's 55% overall. Double locks are three and two. The Steelers won last week. Last week combined, we were five, two, and one. Uh, my lock of the year won again. I'm two and oh on my lock of the year. That's good. Yeah. Pete's shooting at 64% this year. He's, He's on nine, fire. Nine, five, and one. He's seven, one, and one the last three weeks. I'm at 60%. I'm at like 45. You're at 40. 
40. You're 6 and 9. Yeah, it's I okay. Back. I had a bad. The 0 and 3 killed me. We're getting the 3 and 0 this week from you. So, I'll give you Pete since he's not here real quick and then I'll I can we can do yours or mine whatever. So, Pete this week, I'm surprised at this pick actually. His first? I don't think he's the one that said it. I think you said it. I got a message about it yesterday. Okay. And it said, I'm looking forward to the pick one of the locks of the week being the Raiders cuz every time a coach gets fired, they cover. I think you said that last I year. Did. So someone wrote me that, and he's like, I guarantee you guys are picking the Raiders. I'm not. Pete's taking the Broncos minus three and a half against the Raiders. <laughs> and I'm like, okay, this goes against what we said. Teddy B. I think it was you that said it. So Pete's got the Raiders, or the Broncos, minus three and a half. Okay. He's taking the Colts and Texans over 43. Okay. Remember last week he took Patriots and Texans over? I'm like, well, that's wild. And then it just shot up. It was like 21-14 <laughs> within the first quarter. Yeah. Okay. So he's got Colts, Texans over 43, and then Packers, Bears under 45. So he's doing the to- He's riding the totals, man. He's, he's been, been hot, hot on, on the totals. So Broncos minus three and a half, Colts, Texans, Packers, Bears over under. Do you want to go? I'll start. My first is I'm taking Packers minus four and a half. The Packers. Uh, yeah. yeah. Bears have been have just, I don't even know how they beat the Raiders when your quarterback throws for like 60 yards and you win. That is pretty wild. I still don't understand that either. It just shows how bad the Raiders actually are. I agree. No, I think the Raiders are still good. No. Not good, but they're fine. They're going to go 8-8, eight and 8-9, eight, eight and eight, eight and nine, I mean. That's yeah, what we had them. We all had them going like 8-8. Eight and eight. Yeah, I think I had them. 8-9. Yes, all right. Packers? Packers. Okay. Um, I'm taking Dallas minus 4. Uh-oh. Mac he's, Jones he's, is. He's finally coming around on Dallas. Oh, dude, I'm with, I'm with Rex Ryan. Mac Jones is a pea shooter out there. He's kind of finally coming around on Dallas. He's liking them. Oh, here's they're, my, dude, they're 5-0 and against the spread this year. I know. Only team, I think. I think and then my right. last one is Steelers minus 4.5. 5. Is it 5 now? Yeah. Okay. This Seahawks is, are in shambles. This is a big week for us. Seahawks, Seahawks are in shambles. This is going to be a big week for us, dude. You want to know why? Why? Because my first pick is Pittsburgh minus 5 Whoa. against those same Seahawks. Yeah. I'm not betting against Geno Smith here. Every, every week, I'm going to ride whoever they Pittsburgh, play. Pittsburgh got – I got Pittsburgh on Denver last week. I'm taking Pittsburgh again, so we got one double lock. Okay. The next pick is another double lock because I'm taking Dallas also against <laughs> New England. So me and Bob are rolling deep this week. Yeah. This is going to be a big week for us. Oh, tell got, me you got Packers, too. No. No? Two double locks. I got Pittsburgh minus five against Seattle, Dallas minus four against New England. Last pick is the Cleveland Browns minus two and a half against the Arizona Cardinals. Are oh, you taking Cleveland? I'm taking Cleveland. You're, you're a Cardinal fan. I like the Cardinals. You're a Kyler guy. I am. The but Browns, I, you I think the Browns the are Browns coming off this to, week. The Browns coming off this embarrassing defensive performance. The Cardinals coming off kind of an emotional win. It's a division rival. They did escape out of it. They didn't Browns look great. Kind of run over them. The Niners were able to run the football. I think the Browns just run. They're going to get two hundred plus rushing yards. Uh, yeah, Kyle, it's tough to stop Chubb and Hunt. The Browns are third in the league in sacks. I think Miles Garrett can. They can get pressure on Kyler with four. They better protect the backside though. I mean. <laughs> Rondo Moore. I think it's going to be a shootout, but I think the Browns. I think Stefanski is a good coach. I think he's going to figure Browns out. Browns outlast way. him. Yeah, I think it's going to be a 38 35 type game. I'm not taking. I mean, if that make, I should take the over by chance. But I'm taking the Browns. I think the Browns win. Okay. Dallas Browns. I hate taking all favorites, so it drives me nuts. You always love the dogs. I like a little bit of dog. We have no dogs. This is good. well. I mean, let's be real. The Steelers, the Seahawks aren't winning any games with Geno Smith, man. DK Metcalf's going to be nice. Tyler Lockett's fantasy year's no. over. He's too precise for Gino. No, it's Gino's not getting it 40 yards down the field. Sorry. All right, let's get in some quick fantasy. Uh, say it out, Sports League. Uh, Fromby, did you see his comeback? Oh, my Lord. No, he was already winning. Right. But for the, the beat down of the week, my dad was up by 50. I think I won by like 48. Fromby was up by like 30 or 40, and then he had Mark Andrews. Look at this guy. Oh, he's here. Pete shows up at the end of the Comes pod. in hot. We're nice. almost over, though, so you can't jump in. All right, Fromby wins. <laughs> He's out. He, You've been uh, suspended for the been day. You've been suspended for today. Um, Mark Andrews scores 40 last night. Oh, my Lord, dude. So, do, wins so by, going in. Fromby wins by 70? Yeah. To win the Cardinals 60-1 to one ticket? Yeah. What? Dude, so going in, did you know Mark Andrews didn't have a touchdown? He had one called back. Oh, that's not good. No bueno. Yeah, then last night he goes yeah, berserk. He went, two, two, yeah, so shout out Fromby. He got, he got the ticket 60-1. I think my dad's probably devastated because I told him he's probably winning. I think I was beating your dad, wasn't I? No, you won by 45 or something. I, you, were, you won by 42, I think. Was that what it is? Yeah. Uh, this week's ticket and contest, highest scoring loser. So you get a little bit, you know, if you score the most points and you, you know. 
High scoring loser. You have to lose. You have to lose. High scoring loser. Uh, I don't want to you take win it. A, you want to achieve stick it. I can't afford to lose. I'm three and two, baby. All right. I'm like one and four. Uh, what else we got? MLB playoffs. I, I mean, we did predict that one of our so I picked the Yankees and the Dodgers last podcast to be in the World Series, and you picked the Red Sox and who? The Dodgers, right? No, you picked the you. Well, you had no, you had Dodgers losing the Cardinals. You bum. Oh, last week. I thought we you, were I thought you said last before year. the podcast even aired. We were already wrong about half our shit. So, oh, I got the Red Sox. Well, yeah, you got, you got the Red Sox. I had the Red Sox winning the wild card. I had the Red Sox beating the Rays. Yeah, but I had the Yankees, and you had the Cardinals over the Dodgers. So yeah. We were already wrong the day it aired. But anyway, yeah, Dodgers walk it off two days in a row. I know you were happy. Sunday was a day for you. You had the Eagles winning. Come back. Boston, sh- Boston wins it all. walk off. <laughs> Kiki. I miss Kiki and Jock. Kiki. But fired. I think they've produced more runs than the Dodgers have scored this entire postseason. 100%. It's driving me nuts. Anyway. Uh, yeah, Red Sox. I'm hoping to get a Red Sox Dodgers. Dodgers games tonight. By the time this airs, we're going to know if it's 2 2 or the Dodgers are completely out of it. So if the Dodgers lose, I will root for the Red Sox and the Braves. Okay. If the Red Sox lose, who would you root for? The Dodgers. He's lying. Why are you always lying? The Dodgers. I would root for the Dodgers. Oh, because they have the best player in baseball. Yeah. He's, well, you have most of them, half your team's from Boston. Yeah. All right. I think that's it for this week. That's it. Oh, we got to get to we got to get to Riot. Oh, Riot's got to come in here and get his picks. How's he doing? He's not he's not faring too well. Before heard. he comes in, I'll let you guys know. He is uh, no he's he went three one and one last week. Oh, that's I, but good. I also went three one and one. You so guys didn't gain any didn't gain pick any up any ground. steam. He's ten ten and fourteen ten fourteen and one, and I'm seventeen seven and one. So I'm seven games up on him. It's oh. okay. It's only week five though. He can make a match. Yeah, you guys comeback. do it five a week. He can come so back. So let's yeah. All right, we got right in the house. We're going to do the father son pick them. Last week, uh, I went. We all, we both went three one and one. We won three games, lost one, and we tied one. You're ten and fourteen, right this year. So you're coming. You made a little headway. I'm seventeen seven and one. So we're doing good. What's going on, dude? You ready to make your picks? Yeah. Okay. All right. Game number one: Dolphins minus three and a half against the Jaguars. Dolphins. Okay, I got the. I'm taking the Jaguars at home. You got dolphins. Oh, there we go. This could be a this could be a make or break week for you. It's week six. All right. Now, now, game number two is the Bills minus five and a half against the Titans. Bills. Bills. I'm on the Bills. I'm taking the Bills also. Uh, Vikings minus one or the Panthers. Vikings. Vikings. Me. So I'm taking the Vikings as well. All right. We got two of the same. Game number four: Raiders against the Broncos. The Broncos are favored by three and a half. So Raiders or Broncos. Raiders. Raiders. Taking the Raiders? Mm-hmm. I'm taking the Broncos, dude. So there we go. That's two games. We got at least two different ones. Last week we had a bunch of the same picks, which is no fun because then you can't catch me. So I'm taking the Raiders. Uh, or I'm taking the Broncos. You got the Raiders. All right, last game of the last game of the pick em is Rams minus 10.5 against the Giants. Rams. All right, I'm on the Rams also. All right, so we got two different games. Broncos and Raiders were different, and Bills, uh, Vikings, Panthers were different, okay? Okay. Oh, no. Jaguars, Dolphins were different. All right. Do you think you're going to gain some ground on me this week? Yes. There you go. Remember last week, you're all hesitant. You're like, I don't, I'm not confident. You got to be confident. All right, buddy. You're good to go. Okay. I'm sure the people listening are rooting for you. Okay. All right, buddy. Bye. Bye. All right. I guess that's it. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next week.